Aquarius, this is for you, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for March 2024. Oh, Aquarius, this is looking a little better. Right. So, you know, I'll say honestly, the month of March is, is uh, you know, starting to pick up. Let's just say that. You've been kind of struggling maybe with a little bit of depression, sadness, concern, worry. Changes in your life has made you uncertain about yourself and your choices and your decision making, that kind of thing. This is always a good time, Aquarius, to look at yourself and to look at... Um, you know, what part are you playing that creates these things that are happening in your life? Because relationships have have been a, a struggle for you. You know, you get into these good relationships and lots of love and lots of kindness and things are moving right along and you're feeling the love and then something happens and you shift it. So I don't know. I think there's been some hurt or some sadness, not just for you, but others that have liked you or loved you or been around you. So there's the energy of love around you. It's just got a lot of heartache in it. Sadness, a lot of lessons, a lot of messages, and March is going to be an opportunity for you to put some of that into perspective. That's what I got to say there, you know. And I think, I think maybe you aren't as um, connected or as close to your uh, siblings, or maybe you don't have any siblings, and that makes you feel kind of on your own or single person. Or you know, isolated and not having enough communications with others, that's causing you some issues. Um, the uh, dynamics in your family aren't exactly the way you like them, and that's what I mean. The fam maybe you don't have any brothers or sisters or aunties or uncles or any. Maybe you just don't have a support. Maybe you've got family, but nobody's supporting you. But you know what? Aquarius, you need to ask for help. You need to step out. You need to ask them to participate. I mean, if you don't say anything, everybody thinks, you know, um, no news is good news. Well, it's not that way for real. Aquarius, that is not true, right? We know that. A lot of times you guys hold back until it's like you're full. And this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm seeing. You are not living happily. And this is what I want you to shift. I want you to change, okay? Now, you do have a really good card in the middle. This is Ten of Pentacles. This tells me that as far as finances and security in the home, you got support there on some level. And that is a good thing. It, maybe you're still protected by family members or protected by investments, something like that. It's a good thing, okay? The Page of Swords is there. Um, maybe... I'm going to say that your your interest in people, your attraction to certain people, maybe that's changing. And maybe you need to really look at what it is you like in a person. But, but on the other hand, you're kind of fed up of relationships. Well, so in the meantime, I want you to write down, maybe you should journal what you like in a person, what you need in a person, and maybe you should also do a journal of what you got in the last person and what you missed in terms of what they didn't give you or what they gave you too much of. So, you know, maybe you need to change your structure and what you like in a person. Maybe there's something you need to look at there. Relationships in um, work environment can also... Um, improve over the next little while. Maybe there's some issues that you, maybe you need to let certain things go and just, you know, not focus on it. There's, um, you're putting a lot of energy out there and yes, there are certain good things coming back your way, but um, be a little slower, go a little slower because it could be some conflict and some issues that are brewing. We don't want you to get embroiled into. Okay, so sort of like a drama energy and maybe on your part, I'm going to say because you're not in your best mode right now, you're not necessarily making all the right decisions. Now, I'm not saying you're making nasty decisions, but not all the right ones, okay? So just as far as the workplace, it says slow down a little bit. You got the Five of Swords. Look at Five of Swords and Two of Swords there. So all I can say is Aquarius, it's not, you know, when in doubt, sit it up. Say what's on your mind. Brash decisions, don't pull in energy too quickly. Um, there could be some uh, dispute, potentials for disputes or disagreements or gossiping or... I just don't want to see you get into that. So, but the codependent behavior I'm seeing is because you're lonely, you're sad. Maybe there's been some problem in a past job or a past career, something like that. And you're kind of bringing that into, into the now. Some of you may feel like you want to get out of the job you're in again. Um, maybe it's not feeding your soul. Maybe it's not busy enough. Maybe it's not creative enough. Maybe it's not active enough, something like that. Or on the other hand, it could be that you're not getting the accolades that you require, or maybe you're not feeling 
I'm just not feeling it. Just not feeling it somehow, okay? Maybe there's something in you that's changing and you're just noticing it. It could also be you have another, um, you have another person you're working with or working around or partnering is, or they're, they're your boss or something like that. There could be some difficulties that face them in the coming, uh, or difficulties that you face with them is a better way to put it. it. Might be making things difficult for you. You might see it as a drama. You might see it as a problem, but I don't think it is. So you may see it that way. And maybe it's just because things you just, you're just not centered yet. You're not in your groove. You're getting there though, don't worry. Um, some of you, I do see opportunities for a lot of you Aquariuses to uh, pick up some teachings and learning along the way. That'd be really helpful for your emotional says maybe you should you know get involved in some psychic readings or have someone do some psych because you got the psychic card right here believe it or not um okay and that is it does tell me that here's the thing here's this is the thing it says that you will connect well with creative psychic spiritual out there kind of people <laughs> and that's because maybe you are too you know maybe that's just who you are maybe um Maybe you're looking for someone that who will match your vibe and that might be found and maybe that's what you're trying to do is find them and it's your workplace that might stir that up or activities that um, work will provide you funds to do such as, you know, maybe you're going to the bar and doing some dancing or maybe you go to concerts or something like that or you're going on hikes or whatever. Whatever you're doing, maybe you're playing pool, maybe you're, uh, maybe you're, um, I don't know. There's so many things we could do, right? In those activities that you might be doing is where you're going to be finding individuals that will help you heal some of that, okay? And bring you further ahead. This here tells me that um, a partner or po potential partner or, or a friend or um, maybe someone you're dating, uh, maybe she has love or, or kindness for you, or maybe he, it could be a, a male too. Maybe he has love or kindness for you, but you're just not in the mood. You're not in the mood and you're really just wanting to stand on your own, stay on your own. It doesn't mean that you won't get into a relationship if you're single, um, but maybe just not right now. Now, if you're already in a relationship, it would be with someone that's quite dynamic and there's lots of love and lots of communication and lots of lots of good vibes going on. If you're already in a relationship, I'm gonna say Aquarius, it's not gonna change. Although someone in that relationship, so maybe some your partner might not like something that's going on and there will be some discussions around on how to okay maybe you're okay, maybe you're just too cool maybe you're a little aloof maybe you're just not um, taking time enough time to be in the family um, or be with the partner and that's what you need to do because you've had a lot of other things on your mind you're interested in very dynamic and beautiful people who are unusual and will have lots of skills or knowledge or wisdom or spiritualness or psychicism or whatever as far as your home and space around your home March is going to bring you closer to security maybe you've been struggling with where you're living or what you're living in or around what you're living and you're going to need to adjust that to uh, uh, make yourself feel better march is going to be a better month for that i think it's going to get better because you've settled some things maybe you've changed some things maybe you changed your environment maybe you you have um, gotten new furniture maybe you got rid of old stuff maybe you cleaned out the old and got some new uh, maybe you added someone to your home environment. Maybe you got rid of someone or you yourself have moved. And that is exactly what's happening. It's a good thing, although change and and um, uncertainty is not a thing you really like, which is probably why you really like the psychic vibes. <laughs> All right. But I'd say that things, things are going to start to smarten up a little bit. Now, you do carry some heavy luggage as you walk into March. You do carry some heavy luggage as you walk into March. I will tell you that. But you're going to find some places to lay them down and to start to have some fun. So go slow. Take your time. Do whatever you need to do and force people to take things seriously and be conscious of the pace that you want. Okay, logically, yes, luggage can be lost. Now, as far as um, finances, I do think there's going to be some strain and worry and stress around it. But in the end, I got some amazing cards for you, Aquarian people. So don't worry. Finances, security, all of that's on its way. You keep putting the effort out, put the work out, it'll come. 
all right? For sure it will. Um, and I do think you have support. Now, it might only be one or two people, but you do have some support in your family, okay? Uh, working in retail or working in... Uh, you're a salesperson. I'm going to say that you have the ability to be a good salesperson, but you just have to jump out of your shy or jump out of your bad mood, whatever that is. When you're feeling kind of low, depressed, or, or overwhelmed in that way, which I think you have been feeling, I think it's important for you to take some time to adjust that. So depression is the biggest concern I have for you uh, and self-doubt and self-esteem and concerns like that. I think you're going through something right now. So I'm gonna say this straight up and if, even if you're not a witch, I will say this, I am a witch. And I will say that anyone who is dealing with some of the things that I would say Aquarius is dealing with. You could speak to a number of different gods or goddesses, but I would say ask some help from Hecate, okay? That tells me then you will have more support than just that one or two people in your family. All right, so that was for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for March.